What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 10 of the FIFA 22 player career mode where he's in Conrazan as usual and well, he's finally in the Premier League in Burnley and let's see what we can finally do. The four goals, sorry, one goal in four matches, that's the World Cup match that we played. In the last episode, we uh, played the World Cup and well, I'm going to tell you guys if we won or lost because you should definitely go watch it. I have four available skill points right now and I said I was going to work on my passing so that's what I'm going to do. And I could just like do this. Wait, what's... I need nine for this archetype. And I actually want to do that straight away. I also want to do this straight away. I need eight for this i need nine for this so i think i'm just going to save the skill points and when i get up to nine i'll just come and do this one immediately this should like get my stats up a a lot and then i can start like working on the uh the ones in the middle so i'm going to get this one and then after that i'm going to get this one so the artist archetype and the architect archetype so we're the third highest rated player in in uh burnley we're under Nick Pope and Owen White. Okay, I'm a, I'm going to try and pronounce that. So we just joined the team. We're going to be coming on as a what? <laughs> okay, we're not even in this match. We're not even in this match. Okay, so let's just sim it. And yeah, we drew 1-1 one, one against Watford. And what do you know? We actually get a glimpse of the top spot in the Premier League. Are we going to be able to get that again? Because, I mean, after I sim this, there are going to be a lot of teams that are going to just rack up. Yep, we're all the way down to ninth already. Alright, so we're coming in for... Why, why are we coming in as an RM? Like, is there actually a problem here? Why are we coming in as an RM in all these teams? Like, there isn't a 4-4-2. I saw it in the previous match. And why? I'm, 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 I'm better than both your strikers. And I'm coming in as an RM. Oh, and my number is still 97. Oh, well. All right, so this is our first match for Burnley. What are we going to be able to do in this match? Are we going to be able to get a goal? And our match objectives are a 7.5 rating, a dribble success rate of 35, which I will be enhanced to 50, and then a goal conversion rate of 50%. Kamavinga. Well read to put an end to that attack. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Real chance. But it can be a bit of a hit or a miss when you try to catch the ball in that manner. Well, can they exploit the space out wide? Kamavinga. Can he finish? Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. All hands on deck. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Mopé. March. This could finish it. It's still alive. Well, they can keep possession of it. And inside the final minute now. Westwood. Well, they could run onto it here. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. A corner kick, and who knows? One. Now, how about the short corner? A goal! Sheer excitement! Level again here! Well, let's look at it again. He gets to the ball first, he keeps his composure and uses the right technique. That's a nice finish. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't... Okay, so I cannot believe that my goal just got poached. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea if it was going in or not, but 
it looked like it was going in as in that guy just like redirected it and just made it 100% sure it was going in well we still are we're able to okay we weren't able to get any of the objectives oh we were actually we got the one with the successful dribbles we always get that one and in in our first match in Burnley we got the man of the match award and well I mean I'm really not expecting any less from Conrad Zahn at this point to be honest supporters expect their heroes to be willing to put in the hard work so no complaints at Burnley today where they watch Conrad Zahn crown one of the match new signed hero worked tirelessly from first minute to last actually I did I did and we actually were able to get the goal regardless of, of if it was me or not and uh, well we got the goal and we drew the match so we didn't like lose all three points all right we're not going to be playing the Carabao Cup as well we are away against Stoke and we should definitely win it and we do actually now I think this is the biggest match in our Burnley career and it's coming and it's just the second match we're coming in in the 63rd minute Liverpool is beating us so, you know, I have a feeling they're going to like get more because I mean we're still playing right midfielder for God's sake. I have no fucking idea why we are playing in that position. Like, is it a bug? Because I'm actually really, really surprised to why we are playing in that position. Alright, so we are coming in for who's that? Gun Gun Mertzin. I, I have no idea. So we're supposed to get a 7.0 match rating, take two shots on target and score at least one goal from outside the box. Okay, so we're just going to go for the nope these um two shots on target and well let's see how shit the which direction are we going it was supposed to be a through pass fuck i fucked up i fucked up i fucked up and he read it well intercepting it westwood right alex quickly over to you because i think there's been a goal at craven cottage it's another goal for west ham united they've extended their lead could reduce the deficit. Oh dear, that moment might come back to haunt them. Certainly improve this team. It's a great signing. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Oh, it didn't happen for him. And his body language tells you how he's feeling. Zan. Lotion. Lotion. Westwood. And in it goes! And that might give them hope. It's his first goal for his new club. Well, that's a great moment for him. And could it just inspire a comeback here? Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And while the finish might not be the cleanest of strikes, it's still good enough to beat the keeper. What a lovely goal that is. It's with Emerson. Zan. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Superb block. Well, this might be their final opportunity to draw level. Saul. Now Lacazette. Saul! And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. Zan. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities. Oh, a goal! A double in his debut! Off to a flying start with the club. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power there was no stopping him there and so the final whistle has sounded and this match ends. okay so we have drawn against liverpool we have done the unthinkable we weren't able to score in our debut match but we have scored twice at anfield that is completely crazy and we got a 10 a 10 point match rating that that means that the second man of the match we're getting in Burnley and we played just two matches we got zero assists we completed nine passes I wasn't able to look at the others all right so we got two out of these three and 
I'm actually okay coming on as a sub because I really don't want to play a lot of like full matches because I really don't know what's going to happen. I'm just going to do this training and well that's going to take us all the way to the starting 11 but let's hope that I mean I doubt that we're going to um drop down and look SC Braga this just shows that SC Braga was actually a very fucked up team because I wasn't able to do this in that team and we're actually moving into the um what do they call it European Championship qualifiers. We are starting for Germany against Northern Ireland. We are playing the striker position. I actually have no idea why I'm being I'm being told to play at RM at the clubs. And the likelihood of a tension packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Alright, so our match objectives are a 9.0 match rating. Or we're supposed to score at least 2 goals or assists and get 10 passes in the opponent's half. I'm going to enhance this one and well, I'm going to talk to you guys after the match is over. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Mark Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Matthias Ginter plays with Mats Hoop. It's there for him. There it is. The opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Could be, and a goal! The quick one too, and they've turned this game on its head. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Goretzka. Zan. Kimmich. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Real chance. And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defense time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here it is again. The ball over the top is an absolute beauty. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. Beautifully it's by Hummels. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Long way out. Oh, so near. But just unable to keep the shot down. Time has been added on. Had a chance to whip it in here. Goretzka. Okay, so this is the end of the first half and I'm not going to be continuing the match because we have already um, We got a hat trick and we have already smashed the first objective which is to get a match rating of 9.0 So I'm just going to request for sub here and Let's see if we got any of the other objectives We're going out for Volant. We got a match rating of 10.0, scored 3 goals Conversion rate of 75. Okay, that was pretty cool. Let's we'll just simulate the rest of the match. Oh, they scored in the 76 minutes. And we did get two out of the three um, objectives. And we, we got the match ball. I'm pretty sure we also got the man of the match award. So, yeah, we're getting a fist bump from Kimmich there. Okay, we are already in level 8. Sorry, level 17. And we have the 8, eight skill points already. And I'm really, really um, torn on if I should still wait for this one so I can get my passes up or if I should get my curve up with this. I'm not sure. So I'm, I'm actually just go for this one because I really want our curve to be 
good but it's not right now so i'm just going to go with the artist archetype our curve is up to 60 and our crossing is up to 55 that's not like all that but it's good for now so we're going to be saving for this one next we're finally home in a match with germany and we are starting that's a really really star studded squad to be honest look at nabri on the right Werner on the left and Conrad down on top i mean <laughs> it's just the best that we're playing for germany our camera lens trained on one man in fantastic form and leading the competition in goals stay with us on ea tv like Alright, let's not forget that we actually got that hat trick under 13 minutes and we're playing just um five minutes per half, so that is really quick. I forgot to check if the difficulty was was low because that was really really shocking against that team. It was Northern Ireland and I guess um stuff like that happens. We just get a match rating of nine complete seven passes in opening half and get a team position of sixty. I mean this shouldn't be a problem, so Let's just try and get as much of the objectives that we can in this match. Timo Werner. Useful looking ball. Well, it might still work out for them. And in at the second time of asking, just what was required. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped. Moving into the advanced position. Robinson. Well, flinging himself at it. Who can he pick out? There's an effective clearance. Conor Hurahan. He takes aim and using his body to good effect. Well, they've given him too much space. Zan. Werner. Oh, surely. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Zan. Timo Werner. Now with Kimmich. On and on he goes. Oh, in with a chance. A goal! Another one. It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a... Zan. Serge Gnabry. He continues his run. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. Well, All right, so that's it for the match. We're able to get the 9.0 match rating, which was the most important. And I have requested for sub, and we are out of this match. Now, let's see what we are, the team gets. Okay, we still keep that 4-0. And we got two out of the three objectives. We got the attacking passes and... To be honest, this is actually really, really easy when you're playing with a good team. And I actually feel that I'm actually on track for getting, for matching the Ronaldo and Messi record. Alright, this is what I don't understand. I, like, I'm literally 8 of 8. I have like 8 goals in 8 matches. And they say that I am out of form. Which is actually, I'm pretty sure this actually like um, worsen, worsens your... Uh, what do they call it your popularity so big clubs will actually want to get you because of that and i actually think that is a lot of bullshit because why the hell is that happening i'm just going to do this training drill before this match and yeah it should boost up to the 
top 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 of the starting 11 and yeah let's see if we're going to get to play striker and we do against born sorry against southampton this will be the last match of this episode and it's actually legendary that means that match that we scored a hat trick in the first 13 minutes was on legendary it means that team was just shit and i'm actually just realizing that it was both ireland teams that we played against northern ireland and then the normal ireland all right so this is our first match starting at the burnley stadium i have no idea what it's called i'm going to check it out in a bit but before i do that the match objectives are an 8.5 rating a dribble success rate of 50 percent and to take five shots on targets this is what i'm going to be enhancing and well okay it's called tough more yeah i remember now so let's see what we can do in this match this is the last match of the episode and let's try and go out with a bang he just needs a good start here well for burnley a draw it was in the last game against liverpool oh he can oh, score here derek and a goal to open the scoring a very bright start to this one Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Good. Could be dangerous. Goodmanson. He's in position. Oh, excellent diving stop. Playing it in. McNeil. Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. And it's gone out for a throw-in. And he was in the right place to intercept. Zan. There's a slide draw pass. Well, nothing productive, really. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Thank you. Lovely ball over the top. Real chance. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? But he's gone short with it. Gives it a go. Brilliant save. Mastery of the passing game. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Making progress. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Han. Zan. Westwood. This looks threatening. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Now the manager. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Westwood. Zan. He read it well defensively. First Chan. Cuts it back. Well, placement over power, but it didn't work out for and him. You'd expect him to have an impact straight away. Good player and fair value for him, I think. McNeil. Zan. And players waiting in the centre. How can they create something? And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic... Here, Walcott. And using his strength to shield the ball. 
Oh, well hit, but couldn't keep it down. All right, so my time is up in the match. We are being subbed off for Payet, and we actually get another 10.0 match rating. We played 64 minutes, scored one goal. We made two assists, so we were involved in every single goal that was scored today, and that is really, really, really good. The match did end 3-0. We got all three of the manager's objectives, and we are really at the top of our game at this point. I have no idea why the media is saying that we... Don't know what we're doing i mean I, I really don't even know how we're in bad form and well this is the end of the episode if you guys like this video i sure did i'm so happy that we are no longer in se braga because as you guys can see that team is actually a lot a whole lot of shit compared to burnley and we're actually getting service we're actually giving other players service and everyone is happy so thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already there is more conrad zan to, to come and i'll see you guys in the next video peace